Hello guys, I have here a video showing you how to replace the music in Skyrim using the creation kit. Now, um, to make what would normally be a kind of lengthy guide into a shorter guide, I am just going to be replacing music in a custom house. So, uh, you know, the music for a house mod basically that will play whenever you go and enter the house and obviously stop whenever you leave the house. I have here a music file that I'm going to use and if you're using your own obviously make sure it's .wav format and the first step we're going to take is to copy that music file and go to our Skyrim data folder and if you don't have a folder titled music go ahead and create one and go into it now you can go ahead and paste the music track right here or you can give it its own folder I'm going to uh, make a folder for it and I'm just going to call it music test. Of course call yours whatever you like and I'm going to paste the track in here and exit out now. Now I'm going to go into the creation kit and I'm going to load up the uh, house mod uh, that I have and you know you go ahead and load up whatever ESP you're using or if you're not using an ESP just only load up Skyrim.esm but I am, I have my house mod called music test here, so I'm going to set it as active file and click OK. And if you're only loading the Skyrim master file, you do not need to set it as an active file, so don't worry about that. Now when everything's loaded up, if you go to the audio tab under the object window and expand it, you'll see music track and type. And um, to keep a long story short, Skyrim has different music types and those types are made up of tracks so what right now we're gonna go ahead and add a track right click uh, here and click new and give the track an ID and make the track type a single track and now you can choose a file and obviously we're gonna choose the music that we just added to our Skyrim data folder and then you can click OK and there are a whole bunch of options over here that I just can't be bothered to go through because when I explain things in detail I tend to get a little wordy so I'll spare you that so now click OK and you have the music type right here or the music track I apologize and now we're gonna create a music type so right click in here and click new and give it an ID uh, actually just call it house music And um, if you prefix your IDs with two zeros or three zeros, it tends to make it a lot easier to navigate around your plugin. So that's what I do. And now you're going to want to go over here under where it says Editor ID, right click and add new and click the music track. So now we have a music type that consists of one track. If you want your house mod or if you want to have several different tracks, to your type you can go ahead and add different tracks and keep adding the tracks to the music type. I'm only going to use this one track just to keep it simple and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm assuming you have a house interior and you're going to want to load up your house interior or actually you don't need really need to load it you just need to right click it and go to edit and then there we go. Sometimes clicking away from it and clicking back on it will make it available to edit. And go to music type and make that music type whatever you uh, created. And that is actually it. When you're done, just click apply, OK, and make sure to save your plugin. And now when you go uh, load up your plugin and you go into the house, you'll have that music playing. And I know this was a sort of short brief kind of tutorial that didn't really explain much but um, hopefully I can make a couple after this explaining in detail um, you know adding different types of music at different points in time and perhaps adding music at the end of quests and so on and so forth but for now uh, this will be it and I do hope this helped you and thanks for watching